Do you have a business reopening plan post coronavirus? You know, it's a good idea to think about a plan now uh, be before uh, before businesses go back to work. Now, here's something that you can do is that you can go ahead and you can send your clients a checklist, you know, for post cleaning. Uh, some of them may want you to come in and do a clean and disinfecting, you know, a deep clean and, uh, and a disinfecting. Uh, some others might want you to strip and wax floors, clean carpets, uh, wash windows, you know, those types of things before they before everybody comes back to uh, to work. So send your clients the checklist, you know, ask them exactly what it is that they would like done before, before all of their employees come back to work. Uh, then you can go ahead and schedule that um, before, uh, before you start getting a, a flood of, of, of clients asking you to do a, a bunch of services. So be proactive and, and uh, send them a, a checklist and try to uh, close some of these cleanings ahead of time. Now. Uh, something else that you want to think about is uh, a cleaning schedule. So when you do finally go back to work, uh, and so and your clients go back to work, well, who gets uh, who gets uh, service first? So probably what you want to do in your plan is just go ahead and you already got the schedule. You've got your your uh, client schedule already. Doesn't matter if you're residential or commercial. Either your residential clients are weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly, and they're done, you know, uh, uh, per a schedule. So just keep that same schedule. And the same thing is true for commercial cleaning. Now you've already got a schedule for these, these uh, uh, clients also. So either they're one day, through, two day, three, or four or five day per week service. Could be a seven day per week service. But you know, keep that original schedule that you had and use that uh, for uh, re-onboarding clients and employees. So, uh, when you do uh, think about uh, onboarding, um, uh, onboarding employees, you know, after the layoff, uh, again, you want to probably think about who stays and who goes because we may have some uh, C players that we probably don't want to have back, you know, have them coming back. So that's something to think about. You got to think about your A, B, and C players uh, as far as your employees and who you, who you might uh, decide to have come back and uh, who will not come back. So now, um, you know, again, when we're talking about that, that schedule for cleaning, um, <clears throat> what uh, I think what you probably want to do is because, you know, some of these residential cleaning companies have hundreds, hundreds of clients. So uh, if, you, if you start onboarding your clients on your regular schedule, that will determine how many employees you're bringing back onto the workforce two at a time. So it's a great, great thing to have in your plan is to have that all planned out so you know exactly you know, how many people you're going to need for uh, how many, serving how many clients. And the other th good thing about that is that when you send a checklist uh, to your clients, uh, you can also send a little note in there saying that here's our plan for uh, reopening, uh, reopening businesses and, and reopening our business. And uh, you know they'll they'll greatly appreciate that because let's say you were to get the green light to go back uh, go back to work uh, on uh, you know like the like April fifteenth let's say well then all you do is just pick up your regular schedule where where you're at with your clients uh, scheduling and start onboarding your clients onboarding the the employees that you need so. Uh, that would be a pretty good system to have. So just take the time and do that, uh, and uh, you know it will go really smooth. Now it may take you uh, some of you maybe a couple of weeks or two or three weeks to cycle through your your uh, schedule to, until you're a hundred percent. But you know I, you got to be doing that because otherwise it'd just be chaos uh, uh, to try to onboard everybody at once. So keep that in mind and and make that plan. Uh, something else you want to think about is. Uh, in your plan is uh, the scope of work. You know, do we need to make any adjustments to the scope of work? I really think that uh, because of the coronavirus, it really opened up every, a lot of people's eyes about cleaning for health and not cleaning for appearance. And uh, you know, I found it interesting that there were many, many cleaning companies out there that were not cleaning for health that weren't automatically cleaning touch points and disinfecting them. But anyway. Uh, I really believe that that's going to be the new norm. That you know, uh, cleaning for health and cleaning touch points, cleaning and disinfecting touch points is going to be the norm. So if you don't have that incorporated into your scope of work, uh, you want to add that to that to, to it. Now, 
Uh, those of you though who are uh, members of the janitorial store, uh, you know, I've already done that. Uh, you go into the download library, into the bidding and estimating section, uh, and you're going to see that I've got a scope of work that is for touch points. So you can go ahead and use that as a template and, uh, uh, you know, to change your uh, scope of work for any of your clients. And, uh, and I'm, I'm going to do the same thing for uh, uh, the, my house cleaning biz for the residential folks. Uh, so you'll be able to go in there and look at a scope of work that has uh, the uh, touch point uh, cleaning and disinfecting in it. So uh, hopefully you found this helpful. That's, uh, that's about all I got for now. Um, you know, but it's very important that we do think about having a plan for post-coronavirus. Um, you know, make the transition and coming back to normal a, a lot easier for folks. And um, uh, it's something to do now rather than later because, again, you know, I've always been preaching here that now is the time for us to work on our systems and systems and controls and uh, other, you know, other things for our business uh, since we do have the time. So. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, go ahead and click on the like and share button. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and click on our uh, subscribe button and uh, you'll be able to subscribe to hundreds of uh, videos that we've done on how to build a successful cleaning business. So until then, we'll see you.